Hey everyone, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I appreciate you guys, I really do. Um, this reading is going to be for Wednesday, uh, this coming Wednesday. It's just a short daily reading. It'll just be a few cards and then we'll clarify, okay? So let's just check it out. Different messages could come out for different people. It's not for any one particular person or sign, although I might call out some signs if I see any signs coming through in the reading. I'm sure that I'll tell you what they are, but they do not have to apply, so don't, you know, read too much into it. <coughs> Excuse me, the uh, story is the most important part to pay attention to. All right, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Wednesday? What do we need to know this coming Wednesday? One more shuffle. All right, let's do it. Let's see what we need to know about this coming Wednesday. What's important here? Okay, we got the Empress reversed and the lovers. So somebody definitely is not happy about something or someone's dealing with... Um, well, an Ace of Cups is reversed over here. So there could be a new beginning in store. Somebody, um, give me a little more information, please. What else do we need to know? This does seem to be a love situation for some of you or a new beginning in some way. The Magician, the Princess of Cups reversed. So that's, um, wow, you got two Aces here. Uh, let's take a look at this. All right, so you got two aces wanting to come in, and I feel like they will. Um, the Hierophant is looking right at the Ace of Swords here, like right at it. So I'm looking at it thinking to myself, okay, so is there an opportunity for a new beginning? And we're talking about Ace of Cups and Ace of Swords both here on hold, okay? And they have something to do with a commitment. All right, I do see lovers here, so this might be an opportunity for someone to um, initiate something. Yeah, it would be a decision. All right, so I'm going to show you what I see here. I see... Well, there's so much going on, I'm not going to get too far back, but I do see Knight of Cups reversed, Knight of Wands reversed. This is... I'm not budging... I'm not moving forward. I'm not making in any offers. I'm not charging forward to offer the cup. I'm not, I'm not anything, right? And it's because somebody's really having a hard time making a decision, so they're not budging. So we've got also the Wheel of Fortune reverse. This is, I'm not budging, I'm not budging, I'm not budging, not moving. Why? Because I'm deep in thought and I'm not sure what to do. I've got a blindfold on and I'm trying to figure out what to do, but I, I don't know what to do. And that is what we actually got going on here. Somebody trying to figure out what to do in a situation. Now, I feel like somebody has all the tools they need to make this move, but they haven't. They haven't budged. Um, they haven't brought that cup in, the Princess of Cups. So every cup is on hold. The Ace of Cups is on hold. The Princess of Cups is on hold. The Knight of Cups, it's all in reverse. Nobody budging not moving an inch. Um, why? I'm not really sure. We've got the Empress reversed and we got somebody here with all the tools they need, but that doesn't mean they've done a darn thing about it. I do feel like this is about love and commitment. Let's find out. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. Just because no one's budged doesn't mean they're not going to. Somebody's definitely thinking about budging. That's for sure. Now, listen, it might be that the Empress, um, hasn't um opened up you know maybe they don't they're afraid to come in but they just don't know what she's going to say but you know what we never really know what anyone's going to do we really don't know sometimes you just got to take the risk and do it anyway right so this is also has the magician on it the wheel of fortune see how the magician has all the tools so somebody is busy freaking out but the truth is even though they're freaking out and they're worried and they haven't made a move they can and that's what this looks like to me so let's find out so spirit and angels anyone for the highest good and these aces in reverse they just show me the potential right that means these aces could flip in the upright if someone actually takes any kind of action here what do we need to know? What are the most important messages we have for the people who need them the most for this coming Wednesday? All right, let's check her out. Let's look at this uh, Empress reversed. What about her? Why is she reversed like this? 
Ten of Cups. Well, really? Really? All right. So why is Empress reversed with the Ten of Cups? Why? Four of Wands reversed. Okay. So now Four of Wands reversed and the same card, the Princess of Cups, is down here with the Princess of Cups right there. See her? And it's funny because these are the two decks that call the Page of Cups the Princess. It's really funny that I just happened to pick both those decks. And we have the Queen of Cups right there. I almost feel like this is mother and child. So this could be mother and child actually going through something. Let me get a little look at the Princess of Cups. What about the Princess of Cups? She's reversed. It's a family thing, it feels like. Tell me about Princess of Cups here reversed. This is for Wednesday, this coming Wednesday. Okay. And we have the death card reversed. So this could be a Scorpio. Um, but usually the Princess of Cups is Pisces for me. But this could be Scorpio. Um, or there could just be here something um, that's somebody feeling really stuck. Give me one more on this Princess of Cups in the reverse. Well, look at that. The Magician three times in this reading. There, there, and there. <laughs> Listen, whatever's going on, if somebody's feeling, this actually could be somebody younger. This could be one of your kids going through a hard time, feeling really stuck. This could be somebody who's stuck at school, stuck in a project, uh, feeling like they just can't get ahead. Something about feeling stuck. Now, it does, it's a one-day reading, really. It doesn't have to be a big, big deal. But what I really do see, because of the fact that the magician is here so much, is, you know, this decision to move forward, this decision to do something here. I'm not sure what it is. I'm going to take a little peek again here. Tell me about the magician. We've got it all over the reading. What do we need to know? Princess of Cups reversed and the Two of Pentacles, the decision to do something, to take an action, to move forward, chariot, to move forward. So there is someone here. Yeah, and it's definitely um, about this Princess of Cups making a decision. So we really do have, for me, this is Pisces energy, P Princess of Cups all over the place. This to me is Pisces energy, could be Scorpio for some of you. Someone who really does have all the tools they need to move forward, to do something, to take an action, but they haven't. Six of Swords reversed, but we need to be Chariot and the Upright. And it really comes down to making a decision. Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords. So if this isn't a child, this is somebody who's acting a little bit immature. Like, I could move forward and ask, I could present the offer, or I could, I could, I could, but they're not doing it. So this really feels very immature or it's just that they're very emotional. So sometimes, um, you know, it could be about emotions more than immaturity. But I mean, it look it's coming through to me as a kid. That's how immature it looks. But it doesn't feel like a kid because it's all about love. So I doubt many of you are having relationships with, you know, somebody that young that they would come through as an immature child. But <laughs> believe me, we, some of us have had uh, relationships with people in their 40s who come through as immature children. <laughs> anyway, let's check out the lovers. What about the lovers? What do we need to know here, please, about the lovers? way too many I can't take all that can we just have one or two cards for the lovers one or two please you know the lovers it's a Gemini card the magician can be a, a Gemini card as well again with the six of swords reversed and why because someone needs to make a decision so the lovers card is a decision making card so if this has nothing to do with love which I would say could be the case but not in this case because you've also got the ten of cups you've also got the four of wands you also have the ace of cups the knight of cups and the page of cups twice it's love and the hermit i mean i'm sorry the hierophant it's love 
<laughs> okay. Um, but it is about a choice to move forward and somebody just won't budge for some reason. I don't know if they're being stubborn. Um, but everywhere I look, they're trying to make a decision with the, uh, the seven of chalices here, but right behind the seven of chalices reverse, we also have the strength reverse, which sometimes could be somebody being very stubborn. So I feel as though there could be someone here acting very immature. So some of you might be dealing with a big old man baby or woman baby, somebody who's just acting like a big old baby in your relationship. Um, could be many different reasons why, but they're being very stubborn. Tell me about the Ace of Cups reversed and the Ace of Swords reversed. Well, let's just look at the, let's look at the Ace of Cups reversed. What do we need to know? Ace of Cups reversed here. I mean, there's opportunity here, but someone's not taking the opportunity. Eight of Swords. So somebody who just might be too freaked out. Look, this is somebody who's stuck up in their head about the cup. You know, look, I can't really offer the cup because I'm, somebody's freaking out. I don't know why. Tell me about the Ace of Swords reversed. Are they not clear? Tell me about the Ace of Swords reversed. Not willing to take a risk. I don't, I, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Tell me about the Ace of Swords reversed. What do we need to know about it? Yep, holding back. I'm not speaking. I'm not talking. I'm not budging for it. This is the whole reading is just someone being stubborn, not speaking up and not budging too much in their head. Tell me about the Hierophant here. Anything at all? The Emperor and the Hierophant. This is Taurus uh, or Aries energy doesn't have to be but you also have Virgo everywhere in this reading you also have Gemini everywhere in this reading you also have Sagittarius Cancer Pisces and Scorpio in this reading and we started out here with this Empress reversed so we have Taurus Libra for me but could be anybody up there at the top so this is really someone whose family or home is turned upside down but we also have you know we could say the same thing about maybe the empress turned somebody's home upside down so either one of these people could really be the culprit i want to take a look at the hierophant and the emperor what about the hierophant emperor here these people are a couple no doubt about it tell me about the hierophant and the emperor here please Wow. Yeah, I got my guard up so much that I've put my scarecrow. Up. Wow. Are you kidding me? All right. All right. So we have the devil and the nine of swords, nine of wands. This is like, I'm not, I'm not. No, no, no. Just like this, just like this. And look at this. And I'm going to put up my block and defend myself. Seven of wands. Shut the heck up. This whole reading, I feel like I feel like it is the emperor because of the fact that he's here around all this controlling energy of I'm not budging, I'm not moving, I'm not, 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 and the devil and the nine of wands and the seven of wands. Are you kidding me? This is somebody who's going, I'm not budging. Leave me alone. I'm not letting anyone near me. I'm not going to be the one to give in. I'm not going to be the first one to say, I love you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. This is very immature energy, even though this person is coming through as an emperor, which makes me feel like this is just a stupid petty fight between two people who care about each other. And they're both in this energy right here, the four cups, both disappointed about how this is going and up in their head about this guys this